Hey, what's going on, New Mexico? We're taking a look at the uh, silhouette of the Sandias there, southern portion of the Sandias from the Tri-Gas Cam. Uh, Paseo del Norte is running through yeah, the middle of your screen, bottom right-hand side of your screen. 68 degrees is what we're waking up to in the Duke City. Wind's going to pick up today, huh, Stella? Oh, yes. We could see those gusts upwards of 35 miles per hour here in the metro area, those East Canyon winds back once again, but not as gusty as what we're used to during the spring. Here's a look at the water vapor. You can see some of that moist air pushing its way into New Mexico. That's going to help fuel up some storms later. I'm showing you this shot one more time. You can see some of that cloud cover, maybe even some light rainfall falling on the Sandia Mountains this morning. More of the storms though later this afternoon is going to be in southeast New Mexico. Flood watches remain in effect for Eddie and Lee counties. Storms could be possible as we march along through the long holiday weekend. The monsoon index today here in Albuquerque, we're calling it medium. There could be some isolated storms, but much of the action towards the southern portions of our state. This afternoon, it's going to be a few degrees cooler, 87 in Albuquerque, 89 in Socorro. You can see a lot of those isolated to even scattered showers in areas south of I-40 and uh, more so over towards the eastern half of I-25. So just keep that in mind, though the entire state nearly could be seeing a hit and risk thunderstorm later this afternoon, but the heavier downpours of rain expected to towards that southeast corner towards Carlsbad and Hobbs. We do have a flood watch that remains in effect through this evening for Eddie and Lee counties. Localized flooding as well as water covered roads could be a concern. Tomorrow morning is going to be a couple of degrees cooler, 64 degrees in the metro, mid 50s in Santa Fe, 67 degrees down in Las Cruces. And we're going to continue to see a lot of the showers and thunderstorms in the southern half of the state. As you can see here, 84 degrees in Las Cruces tomorrow, 88 in Albuquerque. Here's a look at your seven day temperatures around average 87 degrees is our average for late August. Temperatures will start to climb as we move ahead towards the weekend, though we are going to be holding on to some storm chances as we look ahead towards Labor Day weekends. Just keep that in mind if you do have plans to be outdoors.